guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today on the farm I've been doing some restoration work on the house. We needed some uh, repairs done on the floors, and I need to make some trim. I'm also uh, making some furniture. So I've got some wood here that already has a coat of stain on it, and some more wood here that's just bare. And I figured why not use this as an opportunity to do another Ryobi tool review. So that's what we're doing. This is the Ryobi P400 corner sander. Uh, it's, I bought this very used. I got it at a yard sale for like seven bucks, which was a pretty good deal. Now it didn't have a battery, but it was just the bare tool. That doesn't matter. All the Ryobi One Plus batteries work, the NICADs or the lithiums. And uh, I'm using it today with this 4 amp, which is major overkill. Um, the operates is just a vibrating sander, a palm sander, vibrational, not rotational. So to work it, you want to get uh, sandpaper that has the felt padding on it like that. And that sticks on there really nicely. Now these you'll notice are round and this is not. Uh, you can get ones that are shaped like this no problem. I just happened to come across like a hundred pack of these things on sale and I figured why not use them up before uh, moving on to the next thing. So that's what I've been using and, and as you can see these, these two over here are already done. I've already sanded them down. It works very well. Uh, if you want to do aggressive sanding obviously you can change the grid of the paper, but this sander is more suited for just, you know, your, your light, your polishing, your, your smooth grit. You wouldn't want to use this to, like, scale rust off of metal, although I'm sure you could. Uh, so, hey, let's, let's put it together and we'll use it. I've still got this one here that's not completely used up, and we'll start with that. Now, a battery like this, which is, like I said, overkill, you'll wear out your arms and you'll wear out the daylight before you wear out this battery, but it works very well. Operationally, here's a picture of it from the front. Here's a picture of it from the, uh, the belt side. Of, there's where the sandpaper attaches to. It's just Velcro there. Now it has an on and off button. That's, that's the only function it has. And uh, it'll run. All right, so let's do it. There you go. You can see I won't bore you to death with me sanding for the next hour and a half. But a very effective little sander. Does a good job. I'm using 100 grit right here, and that's fine for starting what I need. I'll probably move to something finer than that even before I'm done. But as you can tell, I'm out here in the driveway, but I might as well be way up at the edge of the property doing it you know, for fence posts or who knows what. Doesn't matter. The opportunity to do so with a battery powered pack like this, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, that's it. My review of the Ryobi One Plus 18 volt P400 sander. Of course, it's been model numbers changed a few times over the year. This is the old blue one. Now they're coming in that kind of bright yellow, uh, but they're all roughly the same. Uh, scale of one to ten, an eight. Uh, the things I do have to ding it for is uh, for a sustained use, the motor does tend to get kind of hot. So if you're doing six or seven pieces in a row and you're not turning the unit off. It tends to warm up. Maybe they've cured that on newer models, adding more ventilation there probably would do the trick. But it's not so uh, hot that it becomes bothersome, it's just you do notice it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe you'll consider liking and then subscribing. And I will see you next time. Take care.